So I'm here to oversee the wearable technology trial that we're doing in the upper class wing. So we've given the hosts some Google Glass and Sony smartwatches and what we've been trying to do is to try and find out how we can use that technology to enhance the process that they have here when they're meeting and greeting some of our high value passengers from limos. The trade fair that we showcased the technology at was a phenomenal success. We're something of a, a leader when it comes to innovation in product and service. So it was quite nice to get out there and show them that we're doing something with technology as well and how we can use that technology to enhance our customer experience. So I joined Virgin in September 2000 on the IT Support Centre. I then moved on and did some development work in IT and kind of worked my way up through IT to the position I hold now, which is as IT Innovation and Development Manager. I think it's the people that make it such a great place to work. But I think what's really key for the people in my team is to be able to have that interaction with perhaps non-technical colleagues around the organisation to really understand what it is that their needs are and how IT can help support that. What brought me to Virgin Atlantic really was I, I was a customer of Virgin Atlantic. I loved flying Virgin and I saw a job come up at Virgin and thought, actually, do you know what? Rather than sitting and flying with Virgin, why don't I go and try my hand at working for them? It seemed like a a cool place to work. I applied and here I am. If you're a technical person wanting to apply for a role at Virgin Atlantic, I would say go for it. It's a fantastic organisation to work for. You could use your technical skills to, to really make a difference here. Plus, obviously, you get all the benefits of working for an airline.